Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about pleural fusion imaging. So what is pleural fusion? Pleural fusion are abnormal accumulation of fluid within the pleural space. They may result from a variety of pathological processes which overwhelm the pleural ability to reabsorb fluid. Terminology. So, ten effusion are preferentially designated using more specific terminology. This is important because this effusion may be managed distinctly. For example, like below thorax and colothorax is the same meaning. It means the presence of bar in the pleural space. Chylothorax, it means chylous fluid in the pleural space. Clisinothorax, it means there is a clisin solution in the pleural space following urological surgery. Hemothorax, it means blood in pleural space. Empyema or pyothorax, I mean pus in the pleural space. Imsu, so thora or chemothora, I mean effusion of the fluid collects in advertently in the pleural space due to malfunction of the central venous line. Oleothorax. An intra or extra pleural injection of oil, or usually paraffin oil. It is usually for a long time before to prevent or uh, in case of tuberculosis disease, to prevent the complication of it by or result from the tuberculosis disease. Pseudo chylothorax, I mean a cholesterol rich pleural diffusion. Urinothorax, I mean the presence of urine in the pleural space. Astic accumulation of fluid in the pleural space occur in a broad range of disparate clinical scenario. No single demographic is affected. Rather, epidemiology will match the of the underlying condition. However, it is probably safe to say that as conge congestive culture failure and malignancy are some of the most common causes or the patient could be overpresented. Clinical presentation, if it, it, it is a small amount of the it usually is asymptomatic. In fact, depend on the, the respiratory reserve of the patient, even large amount of it can accumulate accumulate within the pleural space before any symptoms are recognized. Yeah. Eventually, as the volume of fluid increases, with the resulting passive atelectasis of the adjacent line, the patient will experience reduced exercise tolerance and breathlessness. Physiological, the pleural cavity normally contain approximately 15 ml of serous pleural fluid. Any process which results in more fluid forming than can be absorbed will produce a pleural effusion. So as we know, Pleural diffusion divided into two groups. One is transudate and second is 
Actually, so transudate occur when there is an increase in hydrostatic pressure or decrease of capillary uncoated pressure. Example of some cause like cardiac failure, nephrotic syndrome, cirrhosis, hepatic hydrothorax, Dressler syndrome, trauma, asbestos exposure, yellow nail syndrome, ur urinal, thorax, post coronary artery bypass scrapping. Some medication like Dasa, Tinip, Exodate occurred due to the increase in permeability of the microcirculation or alteration in the pleural space drainage to lymph node example, the bronchial carcinoma, secondary malignancy, pulmonary embolism and infarction, pneumonia, tuberculosis, mesothelioma, rheumatoid arthritis, systemic lupus erythematous, Lymphoma. Chair radiograph in lateral decubitus. A lateral decubitus theme can visualize small amount of fluid laying again the dependent parietal pleural pleural. Chair radiograph in erect even though both, I mean, both PA and AP erect film are insensitive to small amount of fluid, but however, we can see some sign like blunting of the costophrenic angle, blunting of the cardiophrenic angle, fluid within the core, horizontal or oblique fissure, eventually a meniscus will be seen on front of films, seen laterally and centrally sloping medially. Note if a hydropneumotora is present, no side meniscus will be vis visible. With large volume of effusion, major snails occur away from the effusion. Lateral film are able to identify a smaller amount of fluid as the costophrenic angle are depressed posteriorly. This shadow graph so the planting of the left costophrenic angle and the meniscus are soon by the red line. And not more apparent of the costophrenic angle is seen on the left hemotora as shown by the Y line. Case of 45 years of female, her chest is radiograph, so moderate size, mildly luxulated. Right pleural effusion with underlying atelectasis in the right lower lobe and the left lung and pleural space are clear. The tip node projects tip in the liver. Case of 50 years old male with hood left sided pleural fusion with displays of the trachea and the and other mediastinal structures to the right. In five right line also noted. The chair radiograph in supine. Large amount of fluid can be present on supine thing. 
with minimal imaging chain as the fluid is dependent and collect posteriorly. There is no meniscus and only a will like increased density of the hemithorax may be visible. It is therefore especially difficult to identify similar right a similar side bilateral effusion as uh, the density of the lung will be similar. Case of five months old female. So moderate left sided pleural fusion is standing to the upper. The oblique PCA is delineated by fluid. Six month old male. We can see the end tissue tip in the stomach completely wise out of the left hemithora with a significant mediastinal sip in keeping with a light floral fusion, right lung clear. 50 years old male. Anti tissue, ET tissue. Right sided PICC and left CVL are in appropriate portion. Right CVL chip rejected at the level of the right proximal clavicle. Obscuration of the right hand border is favored to be due to rotation, lung and clear, welling opacity of the left hemithorax is keeping with left side the plural fusion. Ultrasound. Allow the detection of small amount of plural, plural locular fluid with positive identification of amounts as small as 3, 5 ml that can be, cannot be identified by radiograph, which only capable of detecting volume about 50 ml of fluid. Contrastly to the radiological method, ultrasound allow easy differentiation of the luxulated fluorophyll Plural feed and second plural. Moreover, it is effective in guiding the dora synthesis, even in small fluid collections. When viewed in a coronal plan with the ultrasound transducer at the mid to posterior axillary line, the space about the Hemi diaphragm is typically occupied by an artifactual reflection of hepatic or splinting architecture, which inspires the obturation of the posterior costophrenic sarcus as the lung descend. The spine is also obscure as it extends into the thorax. One may observe how with the collection of fluid superior to the hemiaphragm, the space about the hemiaphragm does not minor the echocinosity of the liver, the thoracic spine sign appear due to excellent auscultating medium interspose where air once was. May be observed as a line column of hyperechoic scap scallop with posterior ascultic shadowing 
acoustic shuddering, standing beyond the diaphragm. The definite, definite, the defining sonographic feature of effusion are cold sign and sinusoid Code sign refer to the usual boundary de defining the floral effusion to an echo, a posterior rib shadow, shadow at the horizontal boundary. The pareto flora and the viscera flora and the remain two surface the layer being indistinct visible from the parenchyma in in west usually refer to uh, the lung line an inspiratory decrease in the depth of the effusion classically demonstrated in a mode is the sinoid sinusoid sign a manifestation of the intrinsically liquid dynamic. If underlying lung is submerged in floral fusion, when demonstrated in B mode, the respiratory dynamic are reminiscent of a jellyfish and the jellyfish sign, a subtype of the sinusoid sign. Homogeneous unechoic effusion may be either transcendent or exudate, but any degree of heterogeneous dipatonomic of the complex effusion and transcendental exudative effusion often demonstrate punch-state hyperechoic pussy floating within the effusion referred to as the plankton sign. Subtation may be seen in the floral fusion and may indicate underlying infection but can be seen in chylothorax or hematorax. The apparent of the hematocrit sign may be observed in hematorax with a surface layer of unequal fluid sitting at, at top a central fine ecogenic sediment. Ultrasound can be used in the assessment of chlorosugen volume, referred to as the chlorosugen volume for more information. So this for the sound image at the window of the liver, we can see minimal right-sided coral fusion with minuscule sign. This is a two of all the sound. So first we may demonstrate, demonstrate the spine sign, which is on the left image with the translucent red line demonstrates the anterior surface of the vertebral body. Second image so sonography landmark for identify of the coastal phoenix sarcus, which is made visible by only quite fluid. CT. CT scan is excellent at detecting small amount of fluid and is also often able to identify the underlying intratural cause. For example, malignant floral deposit or primary lung neoplasm, as well as subdiaphragmatic disease. CT is not able to identify to differentiate 
between a translative or exudative pleural fusion with similar bead density and non differentiating rate of loculation and pleural thickening. However, CT can help distinguish between pleural fusion and pleural empyrement. Reside volume of the effusion can be calculated using proper volumetry. However, clinical practice this labor intensive but accurate quantification is rarely needed. Whereas formula has been such proposed which allow estimation of the infusion volume using simple caliber measurement. Infusion volume can be estimated by using the formula. So volume equal to 0.365 by V B power 3 minus 4.529 by B power 2 plus 159.723 by B minus 88.377. So the result volume is in ML. In a routine practice, the above calculation is really needed. The, this city chess radio graph, uh, this city chess, so Ma bilateral pleural fusion is used and bilateral carely quartic interlobular subtle thickening in pattern consistent with interstitial edema. We just know lymphadenopathy and man finding in patient with pulmonary edema, moderate cardiomegaly. Another chest CT, so bilateral progression, bilateral pulmonary consolidation. Take home message. X-ray cannot distinguish between fluid time. Both EA and AP eric beam are insensitive to small amount of free. Small pleural fusion can be detected in lateral liquidus or lateral beam. Ultrasound allows easy differentiation of luxulated pleural fusion and sick canflora. Diffusion volume can be estimated by a formula in, in the city like 0.365 by b power 3 minus 4.529 by b power 2 plus 1 and at 59.723 by B minus 88.377. Thank you.